What's going on guys, it's Emil here and today I'm bringing you some Weemfiley Graces. This is versus Final Stand and obviously I'm playing with Daisy Squad as I mentioned in my update video. First race I've got here is GCN Wario Coliseum. The reason we picked this is because it's really easy for a Daisy to break away, especially if they get to the spiral. Unfortunately, the Daisy that started in first, Luke, wasn't quite able to get there since he got bumped around by some of FL. And right here, it probably would have been better for me to get a defensive item to ward off the FL member behind me. But Daisy's drift on this spiral allows me to get past Flurry and get into third place easily. I probably shouldn't have done anything risky when we were in top 2, but I thought I could get a wall trick here. But since I didn't get the ramp, I just got slowed down and lost both my spots. Along with that, I fail to see the bagger here and get really bumped into the wall, which sends me down to 7th. Since Luke and I are back here, we need to find a way to catch up. So this red shell on Kirito is definitely going to do a pretty decent amount in getting us back up there. This item box here was probably not the best idea since there's another set that's really close by. But this green shell makes it essential that I get a good item at the next one. Unfortunately, that doesn't seem to happen though as I pull triple shrooms. The reason I use my triple shrooms is because I want to try to get an item that can dodge the shock. Our bagger has no sign of having it, and it seems like the other team has it. So if they are going to use it, they're likely going to TS our top spots. As you can see here, I'm holding a star and Luke is holding a bill. We both want to predict the shock, but we're falling behind a little bit. So right here, Luke is going to use his bill to speed him through the spiral. Whereas I'm going to stay back and try to hold my star to dodge the shock and maybe catch up with our people later. Luke was successfully able to catch up and I got to figure out what I got to do. I see Kirito in a star here and Flurry as a TC. I don't think that they're going to use the shock since Russo X and Maid Vioi are nowhere near the big jump. But the shock was activated either way but Flurry hadn't gotten TC'd yet which is also why I didn't go back for my star. The shock didn't really help FL as much as they could have had it help, but we're still pretty good spots overall. As you can see here, Kirito pulls a TC, and Luke's gotta watch out for that. Luke tries stopping to get away from him, but Kirito does end up pulling a Mega Mushroom, and I think I can shroom up, but then this green shell over here decides to come into my path and completely end my race. So instead of getting a 1-6-7 one, six, one, six, race, we end up getting 1-6-8. Even though that could have gone a lot better, it still went fairly well for all that happened that race. Next up we have a rather old custom track, the old version of SNES Bowser Castle 2. This was not one of our track picks, however it was FL's. Now as you can see I started in 8th place so what I want to try to do is get some mushrooms to take the shortcut and potentially break away in first. This draft here makes it so that I don't want to be on the rail. If I were to go on the rail I would have risked getting bumped off by one of the funky cons. I start shrooming here because it gives me enough space to get to the cut and that I can make it easily. Missing an MT there definitely made them catch up to me. I gotta look back here to make sure Kirito doesn't throw anything onto these ramps. If you get thrown off these ramps, the respawns could be devastating. Now right here, what I failed to do is pull my fake item box out before the item set. And the red shell targets me, which allows FL to sneak up into the top spots. Now since I saw everyone behind me, I decided it would be a pretty good idea to slow down. But my teammates do get bombed. And something I definitely didn't expect was for Shane to have yet another bomb. This is really bad now. We're chilling in bottom three and Russo X is our only hope. And yet another bomb goes up from FL, causing our members to fall behind even more. Fortunately, I get a star, so maybe I'll be able to catch up to the pack a little bit more. But, unfortunately, as you can see, there's a blue shell flying through the air. 
That's going to give FL some really good spots, and we're going to have a difficult time catching up to the rest of them. It was risky chaining those triple shrooms, but thank goodness I got more triple shrooms. My next mistake is chaining these triple shrooms here. I would have been better off just holding them for the shortcut next lap because I got a TC right after. Russo tries redding Kirito, but it doesn't work out. But instead, a laggy shot gets to me instead. FL is top 3 and likely not going to be taken out by anything. We've got to find a way to catch back up. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're getting the shock either. So I use my star here to try to catch up. Thinking that they have the shock, I decide not to take the shortcut, but to just golden around and play it safe. Even though I'm going around the shortcut, I can catch up to the pack fairly well, if it weren't for that banana head, of course. Luke getting TC'd was definitely a huge part of us of them breaking away. Unfortunately, all I can pull here is a single red shell, so I'm not going to be of much help anyway. Made Velia wasn't able to do much damage either due to the fact that they were top 4 and that Russo X got a TC. FL had a really good race and we couldn't do much about it due to all the bombs that they pulled and the fact that I let go of my fib. No, sorry, the fact that I failed to pull out my fib in time so that I would get redded. The last race I'll be showing you guys is yet another old track on Misty Ruins. This was yet another FL track pick since we were starting in top spots. What I'm going to be doing here is trying to get mushrooms since I'm our lowest spot. If I'm able to get mushrooms, I can easily get back to the top. I would have been perfectly fine with triple mushrooms, but for some reason I decided that I should try to chain them. But that was definitely not worth it either way since I actually missed the chain. Once again, more triple shrooms. Fortunately, our team is still up there, but I don't see the baggers once again and I get really bumped for it. This chain was definitely worth it. A golden mushroom on this part of the track is really helpful since you can cut off all this grass and catch up to the top spots easily, which is exactly what I do here. As I get up to the front, I notice Flurry with this red. I try wheelie bumping him, but failed to do so. Luckily for me, the position tracker changes just in time so that the red shell targets Eon instead of me. Now right here, I was predicting FL to use their shock to dodge their members, but unfortunately I was wrong, so I made them gain a little bit of time on me. Eon shrimming past me doesn't really affect much, especially since I got this red shell to hit him. Now Flurry over here is goldening up and he's going to be able to catch Russo. And Shane over here decides to shroom up as well. With my triple reds, I'll be able to red him and potentially Flurry. And now our team is fairly close together. Right now we're 2-3 entering the cannon, and I think FL was going to shock, but they didn't. Russo actually lands a snipe on Flurry up here, but I didn't combo him for some reason. I must have thought that the red would have hit the wall, but it clearly wouldn't have. But even if it didn't, Luke was able to pass off this TC, which gives us top 3. Now right there, that, that play, me not grabbing that box, led to my ultimate demise since Eon was able to pull triple red shells. Shane was in a star and Maid Velia was in a mega. Maid Velia was actually able to dodge the shock as soon as Shane got out of his star, which gave us top 3 for the race. I got 7th because apparently Flurry must have given up due to how far back he was. Anyway, thank you guys for watching this video. Let me know what you think of this type of style of commentary. If there's any way I can improve it, do let me know in the comments below. Lastly, if you want to know more about Weemfire League, I'll leave a link in the description to the custom track standings as of now. Anyway, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys later.